Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Katie, a member of the CK12 team, and my colleague Felix and I will be running this learning management breakout session on CK12 and Canvas Schoology. We're so glad you joined us. We're offering this session as part of the 2019 CK12 Certified Educator Program as an additional resource for those of you using Canvas or Schoology. Given the shorter nature of this session and the focus on a platform outside of CK12, this session does not count toward your five live session requirement and does not having a have a matching assignment. We are still recording this webinar and hosting it through a Zoom webinar platform that allows you to ask us questions in Q&A and network with other educators using these learning management systems in the chat window. If you have any issues, just let us know. While not a core offering, we have created a handy resource page for this webinar session. You can find it at the tiny URL, tinyurl.com slash CK12 Canvas Schoology 2019, listed on the screen, and we'll put out the link for today's resource in the chat window in a second. It's a reference page that you can use to follow along during this presentation, or it can be printed if you'd like at a later date to use then. Given this is meant to be a short webinar specifically to highlight CK12's integration with Canvas and Schoology, let's jump right into the content. As we go, feel free to post any questions you have for us in the Q&A window. In this webinar, we'll be covering the following topics. We'll start by covering setting up CK12 in your LMS. So requesting access based on enterprise or individual accounts. Note that if you're using an LMS, you should plan to assign your content there and skip creating a separate class within CK12. We'll then talk about Canvas, creating assignments and seeing student scores, as well as detailed reports in your gradebook. And then we'll go into Schoology, creating assignments and viewing student scores in your gradebook. Our main goal is that by the end of this session, you will know about the LMS integrations we offer with Canvas and Schoology, including how to set them up, assign content, and review the reported scores within those platforms. In order to install CK12 in Canvas or Schoology, your school or district first needs to get a key from CK12 by filling out this request form. We recommend that whoever manages Canvas or Schoology for your district or your school should be the point person to request this key. The key can be found on our integrations page found at this direct link, ck12.org slash integrations, or in the footer under tools and apps. Once there, click on the CK12 on Schoology or CK12 on Canvas links, and you can find it then. So with that, let me pass this along to Felix to share more about setting up your LMS. Thanks, Katie. Hello, everyone. Let me share my screen. And, okay, so hopefully you guys are seeing uh, the screen here in Canvas. Um, what I'm gonna do, um, I actually have an admin account and uh, actually I'll also point out, so with both of uh, Canvas and Schoology, um, if, you, if anyone's using the enterprise versions um, or they're managed by like a district or you have a, an IT person who sort of manages um, the whole sort of, suites for you guys um, we always recommend setting having that person set it up um, and then that way it's it's accessible for everyone um, in your school or district um, so within canvas uh, i'm going to go to admin select k12 and then down here i'm going to go to settings and then right over here in this sort of top tab i'm going to click on apps And then once this loads, um, actually, you can even search within here. CK12. I'm going to click on CK12. And so um, before I click on Add App, that form, Katie had mentioned that you would fill out to get your um, key and secret that you'll need to set it up. That that's form is, is a link here. So you can click on that. It'll take you to the Google form. Um, we usually get back to you within, like, 24 to 48 hours, so within like a couple days. Um, so just make sure you fill that out. And then uh, again, if you're having, uh, if you're using like an enterprise version or your 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 Canvas or Schoology app is managed, um, please have the person who is sort of in charge of that fill that out and we can work with them on getting it set up. Um, so in Canvas, um, you're gonna find the app, click on add app, 
and then it's going to ask you for that consumer key and secret. Uh, once you fill out that form and you've gotten those details back from us, uh, you can enter that here and then add the app. And so that's for Canvas. Um, and we also send instructions um, to you based on if you're using Canvas and Schoology when we send those keys. So there'll be more um, instructions for you to sort of follow uh, within there. And so what I, I'm now in Schoology. What I did was I clicked on this uh, these four tiles up in the top right corner um, to get to the App Center. And I'm going to scroll down until I find CK12, which is here. I'm going to click on it. And then, again, we have a link to the form so you can get your key in secret. Um, once you fill that out, you can click Install App. Uh, it's going to ask you for some permissions. I'm going to click Agree. And then, so, um, if you're an admin or you have a certain level of permissions, you'll either see Add to organization, uh, you'll either see both of these or you'll just see install for me. Um, so you'd click on that and then it would, it would ask you to insert keys. Um, I'm not gonna do that since it's already installed, but um, from here, this is basically it. After you've got your key in secret, um, you come here to install it. So I'll close that. Thanks, Felix. We're going to talk a little bit. Um, as we said, CK12 has an LTI app that's compatible with Canvas, and it allows you to assign content from CK12 and select resources from your CK12 library. Um, but really, the question is kind of what can you assign when you're working with this? So our newest Flexbook 2.0 lessons include text. They often have embedded multimedia and questions, and they have corresponding practice or a customized quiz. Other assignable resources, which can be found in the related modalities for a 2.0 lesson, or individually across our site, include this first one, videos, our simulations and other interactives, which we call clicks, and our real-world applications, or RWAs. We cover many of these in-depth in other webinar sessions, but let's talk just a second about what you're assigning and what is reported back to you when you do that. So, just to note, this form and the next page, the screens that we're working off of, um, are on the practice session, they're on the Google Classroom kind of shortcut sheet. So you have access to this in a couple different places if you needed to see it. Um, so you don't have to have this all memorized right now. But our Flexbook 2.0 lessons, they automatically assign the matching practice or quiz attached to the lesson when you make that assignment. So the score reported to your class is gonna be based on that attached practice or quiz. The practice has a goal of 10 correct, and the quizzes have like a true percentage score of right versus total. Um, if you make your own flexbook and you have yet to include matching practice, then the lesson is assigned like other learning modalities with full or no credit. But for you guys using an LMS, if you set your like point value for that thing to be 100, then it would be the same percent out of 100. If you set it to 50 and they got half of them right, they would get a 25 points out of the 50 points. So kind of as you're thinking about how that works out. Now, individual practices and quizzes report the same way as if they were attached to a 2.0 lesson. Reads and other modalities, um, like the Flexbook 2.0 lessons without practice or quiz, if you make your own, they show full or no credit. Um, if you want to reference this chart, as I said, you can find it as part of our Getting Started with Adaptive Practice and Assignments resource page, and I'll add that to the chat window in a second. Um, but those other ones all have kind of full or no credit. Let's say you give 10 points to do that Plix Interactive. They go in, they start answering the questions, they can turn it in. You just get the piece. You don't actually see their questions within any of those interactives. So it gives you an idea of what you can assign to Canvas as well as Schoology. So we won't kind of repeat this in that a bit. But let me turn this over to Felix so he can show you the Canvas integration with CK12. All right. Let me do a new share. Okay. All right, great. Um, so right now I'm in, I'm on Canvas, uh, and I am inside one of my Canvas courses. Um, so right now I'm, I've kind of already navigated to the assignments page. Um, so in order to create an assignment, uh, and to use our app, I'm going to click on this Add Assignment button in the top, top right. Um, this should look pretty familiar for most of you Canvas users. 
But what I'm going to do is scroll down to submission type. And if this doesn't say external tool, I think by default it says something, maybe online or whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select external tool. And then right here, I'm going to click on find. And for you guys, you should only have like probably just the CK12 app. Um, since we test on a bunch of different servers, we have a bunch of different things. Um, and right now, since this, this uh, implementation for the new Flexbooks 2.0 is not live yet. I'm using a, a demo server um, to show you kind of what, what it looks like and how, how you can assign from it when it's released. Um, so right now I'm looking at uh, a browse page. It should look similar if you've been on our website. You've probably seen some variation of this. Um, what I'm going to do now is go to, uh, let's go to Algebra 1. And this is going to take me to uh, our Flexbook 2.0 for Algebra 1. And I'm going to scroll down. As you can see, it has all the different chapters sort of lifted up. And I'll just pick one. Let's go to Chapter 2. And let's just hop into Number Types. Uh, and I will say that this, uh, the app is the same for uh, Schoology and Canvas. Um, so this workflow that I'm showing you will be exactly the same on Schoology um, or yeah Schoology. So once I'm I'm there, I'll show you how to how to open the app and um, sort of navigate. Um, so I clicked on this section. I'm going to go ahead and click start. And once this loads, you'll see there's an assign button. Um, so as Katie was mentioning, with the new Flexbooks 2.0. Um, the practice is sort of associated with the lessons, and you can modify this. So if you had done some customization and you wanted to change this, um, once you start customizing, you have the option to change from our practice to a different concept or even change this um, to be one of your own customized quizzes. Um, so that's a nice thing, and I'll show you how to assign this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just click on this assign button right up here. And once this is done, um, we have an assignment. So what that actually did was create a link um, that's going to be used to access that assignment later. Um, so I'll go ahead and click Select so that it's saved um, with this assignment. And then I'll just give it a title. Uh, let's see first. Something simple. Um, and then you can change the point value here. Um, assignment groups, all this stuff should look pretty familiar. Uh, if you wanted to assign it to a certain group of students or select students, you can do that here. Um, due date and all that stuff is here. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Publish. And if you're still making modifications to the assignment uh, in Canvas, um, you could just hit Save and, and not publish it. But for my demo purposes, I'm going to just let it be published. Um, so this is that same assignment we just saw. This is um, kind of what you would see as a teacher kind of viewing the assignment after it's been created. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to go back out and do another assignment. Um, and then I'll show you kind of what the student side looks like and the gradebook and all that. Uh, so again, I'm going to click on this plus assignment. I'm just going to jump down here and go find my server. Um, and I'll, I'll do a different type of uh, different type of assignment now. Um, what I'm going to do is go into let's kind of stay in algebra. Um, I'm going to assign. Let's see if I can get a practice. Okay, um, so that 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 sort of uh, chart that Katie was showing you earlier with the different um, assignment types that report things back to you. Um, so right now we're looking at like a read, we have a plix, we have a video, um, there's this practice here, um, and also this real world application. All of those can be assigned to you. Um, the big difference, um, so with the read, the video, and the real world application, um, those sort of, as soon as it's assigned and the student clicks on it, they get a grade sent back to their grade book. So nothing crazy there, uh, but for like a Plix 
and our other interactive we have called sim um, they have to actually interact with that in order for a grade to be sent back and then for the practice uh, which i'll go ahead and assign um, they have to actually do do the practice and then there's a, a button that they click to turn it in um, so let me go ahead and create this assignment so i can show that to you guys um, and again so that link's created i'm going to click select uh, I'm just going to type in practice. And again, the, the once you're in the app, um, selecting all the content and creating the assignment is exactly the same on Schoology. Um, so once I hop over to Schoology, I'll show you guys that as well. And I'm just going to click Save and Publish. And so once this loads, um, you'll get to see what this looks. And this is, again, I'm on my, my teacher account, um, so I've kind of already gone through and sort of previewed this and played around with it. Um, so let me share my screen uh, again and switch over to my student account. Okay, let me actually go to Canvas. Um, so this is my student account. I'm logged in to Canvas. Um, here are a few assignments. Um, so I'll actually go and show you. So this is the assignment we just created, which was that Flexbook 2.0 assignment. Um, the other thing I'll, I'll mention is that when you're using Canvas and Schoology integrations, uh, students do not need to go in and create uh, accounts on CK12 directly. Um, so all I did um, in my case is for the student account was I logged into Canvas. I went to my assignments, I saw what it was, I clicked on it, and that's that's all I had to do. I wasn't going to ck12.org directly to log in or anything like that. Um, so there's no need to, to sort of create accounts um, separately. Um, just kind of let the integration handle that for you. Um, so now here I am as the student. Um, this is the assignment that we just created. Um, so there's a read, and then down here, let's see, if we can see that there's the start practice button. So that practice is tied to it. Um, and before I can even turn this in, um, I have to, as a student, do the practice. Um, so I'd have to actually go in here and start the practice in order to submit that. And I'll just do this really quickly. I'm just gonna pick a few and then stop. Um, so let's say the student actually went through and maybe they, you know, they got as far as they could. They did the whole 10. Um, I'm just going to click stop for now to sort of simulate that. So let's say we went through, we've kind of done our, our um, we've done this practice or quiz that's associated with it. Um, at this point, you're, they still have one extra step before they can actually turn this in. Um, so what they have to do is close out of the, this report page. Um, and we actually have gotten a lot of feedback from um, actually a lot of the CEP, um, a lot of you all about that workflow. So we're working to improve that to make that step less um, less complicated, a lot easier. Um, so now at this point, you could turn this in. Um, I'm not going to turn it in because it's a zero, uh, so I don't want to do that. Um, but let me go back out and show you one that I think I didn't have. Um, so this should be another Flexbook 2.0 assignment. But the, the, I guess the, the key thing is that they do have to do the practice uh, before they can turn it in. Um, so here I have 100, um, and then when I want to turn it in, they click on Turn In, and then it says you've turned it in. Um, and then I will show you, um, so that was the Flexbook 2.0. Let's actually look at this practice assignment. And then I'll switch over to the teacher side, show you the gradebook in Canvas, and then we'll go into Schoology. Um, all right. So again, I'm just going to start just randomly picking things. Uh, and I'll stop here. So, and you'll notice that this practice has an actual turn in button here uh, versus the, the Flexbook 2.0 assignment. Um, you had, you'd had to close out and go back to the page. Um, so there's a difference uh, if you're just assigning a practice or a quiz. Um, 
you know, there, there's no outside of the, the, the practice itself, there's no other context of a lesson. Um, so that's one thing to note. And then if this was, uh, let's say I wanted to turn this in, I would click on turn in. It's telling me I don't have, you know, my scores is kind of low. I can keep going or turn it in. I'm just going to click turn in. All right. And so, so that assignment was submitted. So now I'm going to jump over to this grade section. Um, so this is, this is the student sort of uh, gradebook view. Um, let me actually switch screens and go to the teacher view. Okay, all right, so here we are. Um, so here's that, that teacher side again. Um, so this is the gradebook for the student. Um, I'm actually going to click on, let's do this guy. Um, so the nice thing about for the Flexbook 2.0 assignments and the practice and quiz assignments, um, that's actually not what I wanted to do. We actually attach a, um, a report URL. So I'm gonna actually click on the student name. And okay, so this is what I wanted. And then for this guy, I'm gonna click on the assignment. And then this, this link right here is gonna take me to the report. And so you can actually see like what the questions were asked, um, you know, what they got right, what they got wrong. It's all gonna show up on this report. And so that gets attached to uh, the student submission. And then just to show you a practice. And so, oh wait, sorry, I didn't wanna do that. That one's a, <laughs> that's something else. Okay, but basically for the Flexbook 2.0 and for the practice assignments, we attach um, this report URL and you can get to that by going to the gradebook um, it's a little buried in, in Canvas. I'm not sure um, why it's like that, but it's how they, they have it set up. Um, so you click on your student name and then go to um, like one of the assignments that are either a Flexbook Studato or a practice. Um, so right now I'll pause here and I will switch to uh, Schoology. Felix, we have a couple questions that came in um, on Canvas that maybe we can go through before we bump into Schoology. So the first is, um, they're actually kind of similar concepts. So does Google Translate still available inside of Canvas Embed? And what about highlighting and annotating? Um, will it, that save within the Canvas view? Yeah, so Translate um, is not there, but let me show you. Um, the highlighting, so this should be, okay, so this is my student account. Um, the highlighting is is there. Let me try this guy. Um, so, yeah, they don't have to, and again, they don't have to do anything for their accounts. Um, once they're logged in, um, it'll show up as saved. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll just highlight that. And so I highlighted that there, and now I'm just gonna go back out and come back, um, just to show you that it's it's still available. So, so the highlighting and the annotations are there, um, but the translation from Google is not uh, within this view, actually. Um, if you did wanna do it, I think there's plugins you can use um, on the browser itself, but um, in our view here, we don't, we don't have it. Um, sort of available. But the highlight and, and the note taking is there. Um, and maybe you can clarify when Flexbooks 2.0 is released in Canvas and Schoology later this summer, um, would the translate option be built into that? And would you have the same, like you can assign multiple sections within a chapter in one shot options, or is that different? So you're not, yeah, yeah. So the translating, um, so the translating piece, I have not seen anything mentioned about it coming into the integration. Um, so as it remains, it's, it's, it won't be available at least, at least when we first roll this out, um, probably by the end of this, this month. And then the second piece was the,
Um, so the second part was, can you assign chapters? Well, you can't assign chapters, but could you assign like multiple sections in one chapter at the same time, like you can in Flexbook Studio? Okay, um, so the answer to that is no. Um, it's, it's individually, uh, each section kind of as I showed it, um, and I don't think we have plans on adding that at this point in time. Um, so you would have to go into the section and then assign it, um, and there's, there's no uh, bulk assign option like we have for our, our own uh, assignments. So maybe with that, we'll switch over to Schoology because we have a bunch of questions on that. Um, so as you saw with the CK12 app on Canvas, that also works in Schoology. The app functions the same, but there's a few differences that are specific to Schoology, including installation, enabling grading, and what's available in your gradebook right now. So I'm going to have Felix switch over to Schoology and take it from there. All right. So let's... Sorry, it's a little, it's difficult to see what windows are open in this share. Okay, um, so right now, okay, great, thanks Katie. <laughs> so right, right now I'm in, uh, I'm on Schoology, and what I did was I'm already assigned in, um, I, I'm inside of one of my courses. Um, so when you want to assign um, something from CK12, the add material, oops, add materials drop down, and then over here on the right, um, you should see CK12, app so if it's if it's installed um, if whoever is managing it or you yourself has installed it um, this is where you would see the app um, I'm actually so I'm gonna go to that one of our demos uh, servers just to show you the new stuff that's coming and as I mentioned earlier this is it's all the same um, so it's basically the same thing I did earlier um, would all apply here um, so just to kind of show you that, um, let's uh, pick something else, go to measurement, and let's this time do, I'll actually show you a, uh, let's do a video. So I'll pick a video to assign. Um, so again, this create assignment option is here. I'm going to click on that. And so one thing to note that's different um, from Canvas uh, is that this kind of closed out of the, the, so it just dropped the assignment here and you kind of want to open it back up and edit. So by default, um, the grading is not turned on. Um, so if you create any assignments and you're not seeing any, any gradings, um, edit the assignment and check and make sure that this is, is actually enabled. Um, and then from there you can do the, kind of the normal um, category, scale, period. You have all those options. Um, you can change the title. Um, I'm gonna leave it, actually I'll just say it's a video. Uh, so I'll save that and we'll come back to that later. Um, so we have created a video assignment. Let me go in and do another one. And you can also search for it. Let me actually just search. Um, so there's a search option up here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and search sales. And so this could be like a, another quick way if you've um, looking for something quickly on the site, um, you can search for it here. So I will go through and uh, let's see. I'll actually, well actually let's let, let me show you um, if you guys have any of the, the flex books, pre 2.0 style books. Um, I can show you how you would assign a section out of there. Um, so we're in a book here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill down into the section. And notice on the side here, you're not seeing um, any assign actions. And then not until I get to um, the, the section uh, where all the content is that you'll see this create assignment option. So similarly, how in the Flexbook 2.0 we went into the section to assign. Um, it's, it's the same thing here. Uh, the layout's a little bit different, but um, same, same kind of idea. So I'm gonna click on Create Assignment. And then again, I'm just going to edit and enable grading, uh, give it a category, and then save. And then I will, I'll do one more.
actually, let's go to, so this is, um, this is the app that's currently out. Um, this will all change to look like what we've been seeing um, earlier. But what I wanted to do was show you um, a different assignment type. Go back. Matter of fact, all right, let me go back to this. I wanted to assign, okay, here we go. So let's do this. Um, so this is our, our Plix Interactives. Um, I'm gonna create an assignment from this. Let's make it and click on that guy. And just to kind of show you, uh, do I make a grading? What that looks like for the student. Oops. Okay, so we have these um, assignments here and there's some that I had created earlier. Um, I'm going to switch to the student account now. And refresh this page. Um, so actually, let me click on this. I think this is just another Flexbook 2.0 assignment, uh, but I'll just show it um, just to kind of be consistent. Um, so the, it's the same same thing we saw in Canvas. Um, I think this one I have already sort of attempted, so it says continue. Um, but for them, once they're once they've done the practice of the quiz that's been associated with it, you can click turn in, and then this will just submit the score to uh, the gradebook. But let me actually show you the video. So this was the video assignment that we created. Um, and like uh, we had mentioned earlier, for these assignments, um, it's kind of, once you open it um, and it loads, you, you, you basically get full credit for, for accessing the assignment. There's no, excuse me, there's no turn in button or um, any other sort of interaction required. Um, and this is, this is what it looks like. And same thing for, this was that Flexbook uh, section that we assigned. Um, I'll just open this up just in case um, to show you what it looks like. Um, so it's kind of similar to the video. For these, we, we do a what we call like our embedded view. Um, so you notice there's no other like side panels or any other sort of navigation elements um, on this page. It's just the content itself. Um, so that, I just wanted to point that out in case you assigned something and it looked different. Um, that, that is an intentional thing um, for the earlier Flexbooks um, pre-2.0. Pre and then this guy is the Plix assignment. So let me open this guy up. And so for the Plix and even for our simulation assignments, um, in order for them to, to be able to get credit for this, they have to interact with it. Um, so for the Plix, you have to go through and at least attempt one of the questions, and then this um, will send the grades back to the gradebook. Um, so if they're opening a Plix and they don't, they don't sort of click on any of the, the challenging questions, they won't get credit for it. Um, so just wanted to point that out. And then just go, so let me just go to the teacher side and show you the grade book and then we'll take questions. Okay, um, and so here is the teacher grade book. Um, so you can see it's been updated with some of the scores. Um, but I guess the one downside uh, if you're using Schoology is that they don't support the grade URLs being sent back, uh, the report URLs being sent back. Um, so you won't get any extra information um, sent to your gradebook through this integration, but we are working on um, sort of a way to kind of circumvent that. Um, so hopefully uh, in the coming months, we'll have that ready for you guys, and then you'll be able to access um, sort of the same reports that you saw in Canvas, um, 
that had you know the, the detailed information of the questions asked and things like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and stop here and can open it up for. Thanks, Felix. We have two access questions. Um, so one is, uh, can you access CK12 assignments through the SchoolG app on a mobile device? And the other is, do you have to have a paid version or can you use CK12 within SchoolG even without kind of the paid version? Yeah, so I will, so on a mobile device, um, all, of our, all of our content is uh, mobile friendly. The only, um, I, I would say the only types would be like the simulations and uh, are the Plix um, sort of resource types. Those do require a certain screen real estate. So those may, um, if you're accessing it through uh, on a mobile device, you may see a, a, a message saying like your screen's not big enough. Um, but outside of those, um, everything else should, should be mobile friendly. And then um, if you're using the free version of either Canvas or Schoology, um, you should still be able to access it. Um, you still have to fill out the form and request the key and the secret. Um, and then the installation steps are included with that email that we send back to you. Um, but yeah, if you're using the free version, it's our, our apps and our website itself is 100% free. Um, so there's no charge um, and you should still be able to access that. Great, we have a couple questions about kind of assigning content um, to separate groups um, and they all kind of tie in together. It sounds like some people have um, individual students that are using, like they want to assign content to individual students um, and they're curious if Schoology or Canvas could address that issue and then other ones that say that they have one Canvas class with multiple different levels in there and they're trying to figure out if they should assign content within that or create separate classes within CK12. So kind of both sides to that question, but maybe you have some ideas. Yeah, um, so I think, let's see, I should still be sharing my screen. Okay, um, so I can add, so I think if you guys are trying to assign to individual students, um, and you're using Canvas or Schoology, I would probably stick to using those to do those assignments. Um, I believe, let's see, I think you can do this here too. Yeah, um, so I know Canvas also has this option, but you can individually assign um, to certain students. Um, so this is here for Schoology, and then if I go to Canvas, uh, you can do that also. Um, but I would I would probably stick to using that um, because in terms of like uh, assigning things to individual students, um, the LMSs do a really good job at that, um, and that's something that on our site we we haven't quite um, figured out. If you were using CK12, you'd have to create like a separate class and then add just the select students that you want there. Um, but within these LMSs, you can kind of do it at the time of creating the assignment. Um, so I would. I would I would probably say if you're using uh, any of these two LMSs just to st stick with the LMS and then uh, modify the assignments from within it um, and the same thing um, I know this isn't Google Classroom but Google Classroom has the same option and we sort of talk about that um, in those webinars but I would stick to using the the LMS um, features that they have they, they do a pretty good job of, of that um, here's the option here but. Thanks, Felix. There's one more question in Q&A, and maybe I'll do some wrap up and give you guys a chance to type in any last questions after that. But um, it looks like there's a speed grader in Canvas, and they're curious if the scores will show up within that speed grader. I don't know if you know the answer to that, but if you do and can reply, that'd be great. Yeah, so I'm not familiar with the speed grader, um, but if it's pulling the grades from if it's uh, if it's pulling the grades from the gradebook, then I would assume that it would show up. Um, outside of that, I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that, that would be my only thing. If it's, if it's just pulling the grades from the gradebook, then I would assume it would show up. Um, and that's, that's the, probably as much as I know about that, sorry. Thanks, Felix. Um, let us know if you're having issues with that and we can help you down the road. Um, but let me do a couple little wrap up pieces and then we'll answer any questions that continue to come into Q&A. So, um, all of our resources, you can find information, everything you need, assignments for other sessions that have an assignment, there is none for this. 
all our short links, all of it's in our CEP Flexbook. So I highly recommend that you keep that somewhere, that link helpful, easy access, join that class. Um, but within there, you will definitely can find the matching resource page for this particular section, um, as well as at that short link. And I also wanna point out our feedback form. So we've been getting some great feedback to help us as we continue to work our way through the last day or so of this program and think about redesigns for the future. Um, so please, please, please feel free to fill that out and let us know. We truly appreciate your thoughts. So with that, um, we're gonna wrap this up. If you need to bounce out, by all means, go do so. It looks like we have a bunch of questions that are coming into Q&A. So we'll go through those in a second, but let your social networks know about CK12 and your participation. Use at CK12 Foundation or hashtag CK12. Um, and I think with that, let's go in and see what questions we have. Um, so, there's one here that says, will there be any issues if students already have an account with their Canvas login email? Does it save changes made on Canvas to their CK12 login via the website? And so maybe you can talk about that login. Uh, yes, that's actually a good question. Uh, I meant to mention this. So um, if you got, and this goes for teachers um, as well as students. So if, for the teachers, if you guys have, excuse me, existing CK12 accounts, um, as long as the emails match what you have in our system and what's um, currently on your Canvas or Schoology account, um, we can actually kind of pair the two um, through the integration. So you won't have to, it won't be separate. We'll, we can combine it and make sure when you launch the application, you're able to access your library and see all of the things that you've been customizing there. Um, same thing for students. Um, so if they're coming from using the either Canvas or Schoology and they, end up going to uh, CK12 directly, as long as they, and they, they end up signing up or creating an account, um, as long as they're using the same email, um, then we can kind of pair the two. Um, but if they have separate emails, then um, it won't sort of sync between across the two platforms. Um, so as long as the emails are the same, that's, that's kind of how we tie them together. Thanks, we have, uh bulk assign a whole textbook question. Um, so just to clarify, within our new Flexbook 2.0 environment, you can pick any chapter and kind of click all the sections within that chapter at the same time. Um, you still don't, you don't assign a book as a whole, you assign kind of all those sections, but it's like a quick process as opposed to assigning a whole textbook. Because really we're sending you reports at the individual section level. Um, so if you wanna make that process slightly faster and do them in one shot, then yes, you would need to use CK12, um, but you're really still, you would just kind of have to do it a little bit longer, but once they're assigned, then all of the benefits of Canvas, if you are using Canvas, would be useful for you. If you're not using Canvas or Schoology, there is no need to kind of go into that. Um, so hopefully that answered that piece. And we have a just a note that Schoology auto grades and grades sync to your gradebook, so that is accurate as we go through. Um, all of the URLs that you missed, that manual is in the CEP class. Um, so you can go to ck12.org, click the class button, and then use the class code 8TZWP. Um, and under your shared resources, you will find that particular resource. Um, it says, if students are using a 2.0 book to study multiple chapters, would you advise them accessing it on the website or stay in Canvas? So maybe Felix, do you want to take that one? Sure. Uh, let's see. So if they're using, yeah, I guess uh, if, so if they're assigning, um, if you're actually assigning these things through Canvas, um, you can, they can do it through, like all through Canvas. Um, let me, let's see. I can share my screen. I pick the right one. Okay, let me, well, I can still show you. Um, so let's go to this guy. So if you were to assign, let's say you're assigning different, um, different sections out of here, they can still navigate through the book, um, and especially for the, the 2.0, this is possible. Um, so if they're, let's say they, they had this assignment, but they still wanna continue on and, and do more reading, um, they can navigate through the, the entire book itself. Um, and even over here is the table of contents. Um, so they could still kind of get through that. Um, 
the window, like the window real estate, I don't know if that would be like a big concern for them, but that's something to keep in mind. Um, but if they just wanted to kind of continue working like within this window, they can do that. Um, so they can still navigate through the book uh, once it's been, once the section's been assigned in Flexbook 2.0. Um, outside of that, yeah, if it's, if you just want them to have access to the book and it doesn't have to be an assignment, you can always copy the, the, like the URL for the book directly from the, the browser um, and then post that in um, your LMS, so Canvas or Schoology. So there's like literally just taking this link and posting it um, as not as an assignment, but like as a post or um, I forget what the other options are. Um, that way they can have access to it and then they can navigate um, without having to go directly on the CK12. Um, so you're still kind of keeping them on your LMS platform and then they can just navigate through there. And then when they're ready to jump into the assignments, they can start kind of knocking out those as they're, they're ready. I think we're good with that. So we will, I guess, sign out here. If you have other questions, please feel free to email us at jumpstart.ck12.org or support.ck12.org. Um, we have one great last session on teaching strategies today and one on Sims and Plicks tomorrow morning. And that kind of wraps up our summer programming and we'll pick up again this fall if you need to join us for other live sessions. Um, but I think you Hopefully you all have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you in our next session.